He, we hear everything from reliable sources. We don't reveal it. Because, you know, the thing is, Sarah, if you hear all these things from these reliable sources, you have to ask yourself, what is your motivation for, for telling me this? Really? And when you figure that out and there's purely no motivation, then you can reveal it. But you hate this one who hates that one and you're this one's hairdresser and that there's there's this is not necessarily true just because you're a reliable source. And being well, a housewife, bloggers are doing it for clicks, right? They're doing it yeah. for clicks. And I found I, I don't it's work pathetic. a lot with Bravo. And then they're claiming exclusive. But go on. Well, no, but I mean, I work a lot with the TLC network. I And look, the TLC shows are the same way. Sister wives, all this stuff. I mean, the networks, unless it's something so really more bad about the network, they don't really care about any even alleged rumors because as long as people are talking, it's it's bringing interest, right? So that's why these bloggers, they can really say anything. They can say there's leaks. They can say Andy's upset with Teresa. They don't need any um, real, they don't need any proof really because the network, no one's going to shut them down really um, unless it's so outrageous. But wait a second. I know we're yes. not going to, because I don't, nothing's proven about Louie yet or really, <clears throat> you know, backed up. But what is, I mean, this whole thing is kind of seeming very Jen Shaw like, right? Is that what these whole alleged investigations are about? That he's kind of selling, you know, he's getting these leads and reselling them. There's so many, like, legally, our, or is our this friend. Pack? Well, it's all, it's a lot of this stuff. And our friend Dana Wilkie just spoke to someone who like Kim and I have decided that we don't want to speak to like who, who, you know, who knew Louie. And so it's like all of the, it's just once again, and by the way, someone said this to me and I thought it was a really good point. These, I've never met someone that has their hands and so many, not just Louie, all of these New Jersey, yeah. like yeah. this one, like Margaret Joseph, I got something on Patreon tomorrow. This isn't a shameless plug for my Patreon. I got something on Margaret. I, I'm not looking. I'm not digging. It's not like I had a falling out with Margaret. And now, it's, uh, listen, I don't do that because I don't care enough about any of these people. But someone has sent me something that then I had somebody look into. And I have like receipts on Margaret of some other shady business. Here's the thing. I've never met a group of people with so many businesses, Melissa and this and Melissa's cousin and I mean, Dolores with all the gyms in the past, like, have you ever met, I mean, do normal people just have a thousand businesses and their hands and everything? I have someone now that's been asking me, a bunch of people that have been, people ask me to invest in things all the time. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want to mix business with personal, with friendship. You know, give me a Shark Tank idea. Like, give me a skinny girl. Like, I get excited by ideas where I'm like, wow, this is really like something novel. Short of that, a gym, like anything common, a donut shop, this, that. I don't like investing in things. Go on, sorry. You really got me riled up right here at the beginning of the show. Go on. Well, I just, I cannot believe it. But I do have to say to you, I, I they, they're an interesting group, right? Because they all are, I, I mean, even Frank Catania, I mean, de being de disbarred, I mean, Look at Tom Girardi. I mean, again, I say it every episode. Tom Girardi should be in jail. I don't give a shit how much dementia he has. But anyhow, um, you know, I mean, for Frank to get this part, I mean, they all are kind of very seedy. I mean, Joe Gorga's business, I, I guess oh. it's construction. You don't hear a lot of people come forward. I don't think, but maybe I haven't paid attention, that have had a Joe Gorga built house and love it. I, oh, I no. don't know. I mean, it is rather odd. Now, at the same time, that's why they're on television because us, most people who are doing things legal and have one business and, you know, you're growing it over time, it's really not that exciting, you know? I mean, it's a lot of grit and hard work. So for them, they always have these businesses bounce, bounce, bounce. I mean, even, you know, what did um, crazy, who was the Danielle Staub? I mean, what did Danielle Staub even do for to make a living all those years? Honey. I have, again, I have, I have, again, this is not like, <laughs> let's plug the page. I, I have, I have a major Danielle Staub update I'm going to share tomorrow. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just, hold on. Let's get this. Girl, you're on air. So do you want me to call you after I'm off? Because you're now on air. Kim, no, Kim. I'm, I'm just going to tell you. Andy, this is for everyone to hear. Kim. 
Well, I'm going to Andy Cohen's book signing. I just found out that he sold out this morning, and he, they sold 700 books. There's going to be 700 people there tonight. You better get there early, girl. I know. <sighs> well, I'm going to go for dinner first and then go there, whatever. We'll wait online with the fans. It's fine. It's a beautiful night in Jersey. And remember, now, I would come with you if I wasn't going to see Tom Sandoval and the extras. But remember what I said, girl, you might run into Marge. The camera's room, just in case. But I don't know if any of these girls are going to go stand online with 700 people. No, Margaret's going to come and just walk to the front of the line. Is Dolores going with you? Dolores is me going there. She couldn't buy a book this morning. They were sold out. Okay, well, they're going to let Dolores Catania in. Let me tell you that. Uh, I'm sure they are. I let, let me tell you with uh, 200% guarantee. Absolutely. So listen, you get you you fish around there with your good friend Andy Cohn tonight while I'm taking one for the team with Tom Sandoval yeah, and the most extra. All right, I'll call you back after I'm putting up your Bye, picture Kim. with Jacqueline and everything. All right. On both performances, Andy's and Sandoval. I, I would be there with you if I didn't have this, but I'm like uh, not I'm looking forward to it. I have so no. much work. All right, I'll call you in like 20 minutes. Bye. Sarah loves a cameo by Kim D. Could you actually hear I her? I love Kim D. I could hear the whole thing. We all could. Okay. I love it. I do love me some Kim Day. There's an Andy Comb. I was, I'm like, okay, so I, I can't be at two places at once. I have to go see Tom Sandoval in the most extras tonight to report back. Look, boots on the ground. We have Sarah. We have um, correspondent Sarah Frazier going to Bravo Cod check. Kim D's being sent out to the Andy Cohn book signing. I'm just going to rotate yeah. all of you guys and myself. I'm not exactly jumping up and down about going to see Tom Sandoval tonight, but I'm going to get excited. But no, I mean, I think that they are all just, there's a lot going on in the New Jersey world. And look, Salt Lake has got a lot going on. Was, you know, it's yeah, the Beverly yeah, Hills. I mean, what's going on with Whitney Rose's uh, skincare line? You know, and then didn't she have a business before that? I mean, or, and and I thought Whitney Rose, I thought they like mortgaged their home basically to to start that. So like, what's the story? How's that going? I mean, look, uh, okay. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't wish her any harm. You know, look, <laughs> Heather Gay has a real business. We can yeah, see that's true. Beauty Lab. It's big. It's expanding. You can get Botox. I mean, trust me, when I go to Salt Lake, I told every time I talk to Carrie Duber, I'm like, girl, if I'm ever in Atlanta or Dallas and it's time for my shots, I'll come in for some Botox or filler. She's a great injector that Carrie Duber, you know, in Dallas. But like, so Heather is like, it's a real business. I I don't want to shade, you know, Whitney, but I, I don't understand it. I don't really understand it where it all goes bethany and... really bethany when you think about all the years later was a genius you know what i mean she started so small she was giving out the muffins at the grocery store herself low overhead that car that beetle that had skinny girl logo on it that luann made fun of was a complete tax write-off and i wouldn't drive that around emotion. the hamptons if you i mean she was driving that around imagine being she's, like non-famous and non-rich I mean, not that it makes it okay if you're famous and rich. I'm just saying, like, your my insecurities would be running really high if I got in that car and drove it down the street of Sag Harbor. We would also be dead because I don't drive. But that's not the point. I wouldn't be seen in that car in the Hamptons. I guess I'm a little bit of a snob. Well, I, I hope that Louis' problems are going away. It just seems so unbelievable. Like, I don't know, but... That'll keep I him on think, TV for another five or eight years if, if he's really doing something illegal. And by the way, I, I know for a fact, this is once again, when, when I say fact, it's a fact. I know for a fact, now I don't pr expect Priscilla, who does her, her makeup, who's like her good friend. I don't expect the people on the staff to speak up. I expect the tree huggers to speak up if you're, you know, you, you, you like should be concerned. But I know for a fact, people that were on Teresa's payroll for a long, long time and are no longer on her payroll. That either they quit on their own because they saw a red flag with Mr. Lurellis, or they didn't kiss the ass of Mr. Royale ass, and he's like, let me put it in your ear, Trey. This one's a bad seed. I know this isn't like a fact. Like I know actual first, middle, and last names of human beings that work for Teresa that no longer do <laughs> since Louis came on, where he's like, you know, you, you come on and someone says, oh, I see you for who you are, Louie. And he senses it. Well, they're gone now. So I'm just saying, yeah. I think the girl's in trouble. I hope I'm wrong as well. Ooh. Do you want to? Hey. Sorry. I, you, I, you, I haven't been this riled up in a long time. 